Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the stories we're following tonight. Still unfolding, a 34-year-old Saginaw resident hospitalized after being shot in the head. State police say it sh the shooting happened just after midnight in the 600 block of Athens Street. Police do not have anyone in custody. The victim is expected to survive. A two-year-old is in critical condition after falling into a pool in Saginaw County. Michigan State Police say the near drowning happened at a Zilwaukee home just before six last night. Police did not say how the two-year-old ended up falling into the pool. The toddler was taken to a hospital for treatment, but anyone with information can contact the number right there on your screen. Police are once again cracking down on speeders. Michigan State Police and dozens of local agencies across the state will be focused on people driving too fast between Saturday, June 18th and Sunday, June 26th. Despite pandemic restrictions being in place, Michigan reported a 15% increase in crashes from 2020 to 2021. There were 200 speed related deaths on Michigan roads compared to 185 in 2019. And now here's Chris with a look at our weather. Meg, a really nice night after a stormy start to the day for some, but it does look like we'll cool down a lot more efficiently tonight, already back into the low 70s by midnight and then eventually into the 60s for overnight lows. It will be a bit windy this evening, but that should improve overnight as well. Winds won't drop off completely, but should settle down to around 5 to 15 miles per hour rather than the 15 to 25 we're seeing this evening. As for your high temperatures on Friday, expecting to be in the 70s and low 80s, it will feel a lot better too. It already feels a lot better this evening, but even lower humidity for tomorrow and then that will stay low right through the weekend before rising into next week. Your first one five pinpoint Doppler radar live from MBS is all dry tonight and that should continue through tomorrow as well. Mostly sunny skies expected on Friday. The afternoon looks great. The evening hours look great for any outdoor plans and the start of your weekend on Saturday looks fantastic as well. Temperatures will be in the 70s both days over the weekend. We will have a chance for rain on Sunday but right now for Father's Day, it doesn't appear that it's going to be anything that completely ruins the day. Your seven day forecast shows a big warm up into next week. The heat goes back up by Tuesday. The 90s return. We cool back down again on Thursday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.